Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today's video is actually sponsored by ShiftLeft and today we are going to be looking at their code analyzer. So this tool can be used to scan source code and find all kinds of vulnerabilities and we will be running the tool today on a demo application and we will analyze the results and see uh, what it found and how that can help us in our lives. First things first, we need a demo application to run ShiftLeft against. Our application that we are going to use today is written in Java and it's kind of meant as a uh, REST service or so an API with a bunch of capabilities. And if we look at the code for a second, we see, for example, this function, save settings, which saves preferences like screen resolution or language to the file system. Um, it takes in a cookie. It's gonna, uh, the cookie is going to have two parts, so a base64 part and then an MD5 hash, hash. Both parts need to be equal, so the MD5 hash needs to be the actual hash. It's then going to uh, base64 decode, and it's at the bottom there going to uh, create a class path resource, uh, static, and then append our first our string to that. And then in, in the end, uh, it will write to that file as well. What's the vulnerability here? Well, if we uh, can supply a file path and it's not being checked what if we supply dot dot slash and then a name or maybe dot dot slash dot dot slash so we can escape and go into anywhere in the file system and write files anywhere which is extremely dangerous and, and should never be the case so that is a file write vulnerability in this code let's take a look at how i scanned this with shift left and what the results were so i have this code here on my github and on the shift left we have a, a dashboard so we have all the applications, you can load them in here through um, through the website, but you can also do it through the command line. Um, so there's a lot of options to work with. So I, I scanned this, this demo application and we see that there are actually 102 vulnerabilities that were found, of which 34 are critical. So here we see the cate categories and we see that there are actually two file write vulnerabilities found. And we have a nice description here, so it says data from HTTP methods it's, methods, it's not escaped, which is the case here, and that can lead to an arbitrary file write, which is dangerous. It also gives us some information about some countermeasures that would be possible. But the most interesting thing here is the data flow. And I like to use this by opening this up in split screen with the code. And this data flow, really, what it does, it, does this, it, it tracks um, user input through your code. So it all starts here at line 223, where we have the variable request. At line 223, uh, we see here that this is the beginning of our function, and we have a request here as a variable that is user input. It then goes on to line 229, and this is the next time request is used. And if I scroll down a little bit, at the end here, you can see that, uh, for example, here at the end, our data that it's being written becomes settings array. So it really tracks um, through the, the source code, how user data is used, if it's validated, if it's if it's escaped, and stuff like that, and and from that it can can know when an endpoint might be vulnerable to something because it sees, hey, this input is being written to a file, and we can actually specify the file name and, and the location, and it was never never sanitized, so that's a big security issue. Now, in this case, we found. Um, a file write, which is a terrible vulnerability, because if you find that, let's say we're on a Linux machine, you could upload SSH credentials and and, and, and that way get in, uh, but there's so many other things you can do. But there's obviously also other vulnerability, other vulnerability types, and in this case we also found a lot of sensitive data leaks, we found XSS, even deserialization, uh, directory traversal, even two RCE, so there's a lot that uh, this this tool can find for you and, and shift left really is, is great at tracking that that user data throughout your application and you might be thinking well i don't code in java this doesn't apply to me who even uses java well that's kind of wrong thinking because this tool also works for python dot net uh, scala javascript so really it's kind of an all-terrain kind of code analyzer that that's really powerful and i think that's using tools in um, in your security is something that is is quite overlooked or co quite underrated because tools are here to help us and we have to use them to help ourselves and to to make sure that we don't miss anything because missing one little thing can cause your system to be compromised and we obviously don't want that 
And so this was our first video where we looked at the shift left code analyzer. But if this already tickled your fancy and if you want to test it out, play with it, uh, use it for a bit, use the link down below in the description to learn more about this, uh, this great tool that you can try out. Uh, have a good day everybody, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave in the comments down below what you thought of it and goodbye.